Hi guys, welcome back. Yes, it's been a minute, a hot minute, and I finally got the chance to sit down and do some makeup with you guys. It's been crazy, to say the least. We're not gonna go there, okay? We're just gonna sit down, we're gonna put makeup on, um, no particular reason, just getting ready for the day, and thought I would sit down with you guys and try out some new products that I have been wanting to try out because they're just sitting in boxes everywhere in my beauty room. I've got like piles of stuff that I want to try out and I haven't and I'm looking at it and it's just like, it's overwhelming me. So I'm trying to just stay focused and just say, okay, it's okay. Usa. Everything's fine with me. Everything's good. So anyway, I hope you guys um, are ready for a long video. Grab some popcorn, grab take a hot bubble bath, something long, and um, hang out. Let's do some makeup. So God knows I have a ton of makeup and foundations and concealers and just new products in general that I've been wanting to do wear tests on. Um, I've tried some of the products. Some of them I still have because I haven't done a video and I've been wanting to. And life has happened. Let me just tell you, life has happened. So I ordered a bunch of stuff from Ulta and it's been about a month and there are products that of course you just have to have, you know, and you have them for like a month or two. And for one reason or another, time flies by and you haven't tried them. There's a couple setting sprays from Makeup Revolution. Actually, there's a few things in here for Makeup Revolution. And I was going to Actually, I have a palette from Makeup Revolution that I wanted, and um, this is the Roxy palette, and it's the Ride or Die palette. I was going to use this palette because I wanted to use not all Makeup Revolution, but I basically ordered a bunch of stuff from Makeup Revolution, but I also want to try out this new Wild West Urban Decay um, palette. I don't know which palette I'm going to use. I'm going to decide in about two seconds, so I just wanted to get ready and record while I got ready. Hang out. Okay, so I decided I'm going to use this Roxy palette. I just it had like a plastic wrapping on it, so I literally have not opened this palette like at all. I just, I just haven't opened it, but look at this. It's gorgeous. It's so pretty. It's not a new palette. I don't think it's new. I don't know. I bought it a month ago, but anyway, it's got a nice big mirror and the shades in here are so pretty. Let's see if I could, I don't want to get stains all over the mirror. So this is going to be a fun palette to use. I hate that I'm getting fingerprints all over this part of it because it's gorgeous. So we are going to use this palette and just some miscellaneous things, miscellaneous products, um, but mainly it's Makeup Revolution. So I'm just going to start by doing my brows per usual. My brows need to be plucked so bad. Have you noticed that when you go to do your brows, that's when you can see like all the little hairs that need to be plucked? And I have been plucking my eyebrows. It seems like my hair, ever since I've been taking the hair, skin, and nail vitamins for so long now um, that my eyebrows are growing really fast they're not growing in filling in where I want them to they're like down here and up here I think I even had one on my forehead but so yeah we're just gonna go ahead and try to work with the wild hairs we have growing and I'm just gonna use a pencil to kind of outline them I kind of go back and forth with just using pomade but every now and then I'll just do like a little outline with the pencil. I try not to talk too much when I'm doing my brows because you know how doing your brows is always a very tricky, tricky situation. The good thing about doing your brows before you do the rest of your makeup is you can just wipe it off and it doesn't, you know, you don't have your foundation to, to smear off. But I mean, to get a good brow is, if you can get a good brow, it's a good day. Like, let's just say it's a good day. So, just going to 
line them. That looks like a good brow. I'm going to try to speed through this. I decided just to use the pencil and not go in with any pomade because this pencil, I really like it. It's from Eyelure. I don't even know if I bought it or if I got it in um, a fat. No, it definitely didn't come in a fat fit fun. It might have came in a boxy charm at one point, but it's really creamy. So you kind of, it's not dry like most pencils. It's got a little bit of a grip, but it's also good for filling in your brows. So um, I just thought I would just go ahead and use this and not use a pomade just for just because I don't feel like using a pomade I just don't feel like taking the time so we kind of got brows that match it's just all I have this magnified mirror here and it's like I can't believe there's so many brows that I've missed when plucking There's nothing funner and more uh, relaxing than doing my makeup. I love doing my makeup. It's just a great escape for me um, because, I don't know, I guess because you're focusing on your makeup and you're not thinking about like the million things that keep going through your head, like ruminating thoughts. So I got them cleaned up nice and I mean, what do you think? I'm going to prime my eyes with my favorite Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion in Eden. Um, if you've watched, I don't know, a couple of my videos, it's been so long. I really, really love this. It's better than using a concealer because it's not as creamy, so you don't have as much creasing, you know, it just dries faster and it's a better base. So I love, I've loved using this as a primer. Unless I'm in a really big hurry, then I'll just quickly use whatever, whatever concealer I'm using for the day. And um, I've had to like run out and do like errands almost every single day. And I'm just so exhausted from driving. Just even though you're like, going you're gone running to the store 20 minutes most of the time is spent in traffic and it's just exhausting so i've just been throwing makeup on like you know no makeup makeup just putting on somewhat of a a face to go out to be presentable i'm just going to set my lid i'm literally doing like the laziest way i'm just grabbing what's in front of me this is my Wonder Beauty um, brush. This is amazing. If you haven't tried this Wonder Beauty setting powder, it's very, it's, you know, baked and it's very um, fine. What's the word I'm looking for? It's translucent, but it's very, um, beauty. you know what I'm saying? It's fine. What's the word? Fine and dandy? Is that the word I'm looking for? No, it's not the word I'm looking for. All right, what look are we going to create today? I hope the lighting is okay. It's always, when I'm doing videos in the daytime, I wanna use natural sunlight, but the, the lighting is off. I love that I have two windows, but the lighting is always off, whether I use artificial lighting. So I just kind of combine it and I just hope that it's like, I don't know, Hopefully you guys can see, like get a good clear view of the products I'm using. So what I'm going to do is I've watched a couple of Natasha Denona um, videos. And so she has been starting off with the darkest color. And <clears throat> excuse me, that's what I've been trying to do is starting off with the darkest color and then working my way up. And I like that better than working your way down because then you start to lose like all these colors. So this way you're just working your way up and then it's just like the burst, you know, and then you could just touch up here and there. So as I said, I don't know what look I'm going for. I'm just going to play with this palette and I kind of have an idea. I definitely want to work this um, honey. It's kind of like a mustard, but a little bit orangier, if that's a word. 
And then I'm going to go in with this cola, Coca-Cola. Tap some of that off. I don't know what this, what it's like. I don't know how pigmented it is. I'm just going to use this one. So I've just been like going on my outer part first. I think that's just what I do. Um, that, that's just where I start all the time. Doesn't seem too patchy. I know it's fall and borderline summer. I mean fall. I know it's spring and borderline summer. Um, but <clears throat> excuse me, that's why I want to work this this um, honey in here because that'll put a little spring to the to the eye look because I'm going in with the dark shade. This is really, it seems faster doing it this way also. Just try it and see, you'll notice, I don't know, you know, it's personal preference, but I think you'll notice um, when you're going with this um, cookie, it's like a milk chocolate, and I'm going to just blend that, work that through my crease, and blend out that cola it's pretty subtle but it's there it's showing up so what has been going on with you all if you know me you know that life has been crazy not so much in a bad way just super 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 busy and I'm wiped out like I'm wiped out and I haven't really done like I've just like I said I've just been doing really quick makeup looks because I'd have to like get up and run and so I haven't really been able to like do like full glam. I have an event to go to this weekend though, so I'm going to really sit down and go at it, you know, with some glam. So I'm gonna go in with the honey now. You see how fast it is? It's literally like the cola and the cookie, and then I'm gonna go in with this honey, and I'm going to, I'll use this brush. I'm really not going to say the brushes that I'm using because there's so many different ones, but this is an e.l.f. kind of like a flat blending brush. And let's just see how pigmented this is because it is pretty, if you can see this one right here, right there. I'm going to go here, in my inner part of my eye, and just work that. Now that's really pigmented because it literally was just one pat. And I mean, look, it literally has some good pigment in it. And they're not patchy, they're not chalky. I'm, I'm pretty happy with the majority of the palettes that I get. Every now and then you'll get like a shade, even like one shade in the palette that maybe just doesn't, you know, just doesn't do it for you. But. I've been pretty, pretty happy with the palettes that I've been getting. I have so many. I do have my favorites, so I try to put those aside and pull out the guys that get left behind, you know? That's pretty. And I'm going to go back in with no additional product with that milk, what is it, cookie? And just blend all those together. And I just blend those two together. And then I'm going to go in the center of my lid with 
one of these shimmers. I think I'm gonna go in with, what is this called? I hate that I can't see you guys. Like I literally cannot see. This is called Boo. Does it have a shimmer to it? No, it's more matte. That doesn't have a shimmer. So I think I'm gonna go in with this, okay, Yaki. That's literally what it says, Yaki. It's like a gold, golden shimmer. I'm just going to put that on the center of my lid. It's really subtle. It's not super like in your face. It does the trick. I'd like to see a little bit more. I don't know. I like when it has like that wet look. I like when you get like that wet look. I don't know if you could see the shimmer to it. Just add a little more, just kind of build it up. Then I'm going to go back in with the um, cola. I mean, I keep calling it cola because I used cola the first time. But I am going back into cola right now. I'm going to go back in with the cola just a tiny bit and just gently place that right at the edge of the shimmer. Because I went over it with the shimmer, so I want to bring that back. I do have a lot of concealers that I've been loving. Wet n Wild has a new concealer. I don't know if it's new. I think it's kind of new, fairly new. And it's called Incognito. Oh my god. I think I'll use that today. I was going to use my Pat McGrath, but... I think I'll use the incognito. That looks pretty basic, but it's subtle and it's it's pretty. We'll keep going and maybe building something else as we go. What I haven't been doing lately is putting eyeliner on. Like I was always putting a wing on. Every day I've been putting lashes on though. I just can't go out of the house without lashes because even if you just have minimal makeup on and you do a set of lashes like that just makes it look like you actually are put together you know and I'm just gonna curl them a little bit and add some of this essence lash happiness I think that's what it says I'm just gonna put a couple coats of this on this is pretty good mascara The brush is like kind of rounded and it's, I like the brushes that are a little bit more fluffy because they seem like they, you know, fluff your brows out a little bit more. This is a really good mascara though. I really like, like you can wear this by itself. I just have to be extra all the time. And it just actually makes me feel better. So, you know, I'm not apologizing for anything. I'm just being me. No better way to be but just be yourself. And try not to compare yourself to others because that will get you into trouble. Especially when you're like feel like you're not making progress with things and then you see other people like really making progress. Like it's not like you're jealous but you're just more like I need to get my shit together. You know, it's just more of a reminder for me anyway. It's like more of a reminder of like, I need to get back on track. I just got lost in the dust of life. I am going to put lashes on. Um, I did want to try these new Allure, Eyler, um magnetic lashes. I've tried magnetic lashes in the past, but I wasn't 
happy with them. So I think I'm just going to go in with the basic lash today. I'm just going to quickly put those on so I can move on. Lashes are on, moving on. I have to tell you guys something. I'm so embarrassed. I'm so embarrassed. So in this Roxy palette, um, that shimmer that I put on, I said it was Yaki. Well, I got my glasses because it sucks getting old when you can't see up close. Like you just, it's just a blur. And it's not Yaki. It's yes. Yes. Y A A A S exclamation point. Like, yes, hunty. Yes. Like, where did Yaki come from? I saw the exclamation point and the S, I mistook for an X, right? Or was it a Q? I don't know. How do you spell Yaki? And it's actually yes. And so this is what happens when you're getting older and you can't see, you know? Sometimes you don't, we don't look our age, but we really are our age behind the scenes. So anyway, it's yes. That's the color it was. So, okay, moving on, we're going to color correct my eyes. I'm going to use my Boing color corrector. And this is in number two. Looks like a little eraser. Ever since I've been out of my um, Becca color corrector, which they're going away with, and I'm thinking about trying to order some before they stop. And this is a nice, not too creamy, but it's a good color corrector. This does a pretty good job at correcting my very dark circles. And this vein I have right here, I try so hard to to cover that up because it's it just like protrudes right there. And I've had it forever, but it seems like the more weight that I lost, the the more it shows. So I have to try to add a little extra color corrector and then like right here in the corner of my eye why does it look like I have for some reason there is some black like mascara or something under my eye I don't know what that was so I'm just I like to use the brush because my nails are so long and I can't get in the corners. But when I'm putting my concealer on, um, I will like pat it with my finger, like my ring finger on the corners right here to get myself a little eye lift. So I got that nice and color corrected. Dark circles, pretty much gone. Not completely. I'm gonna go in with my Vitamin Glow Primer by Smashbox. And this has got a vitamin C in it. And it gives you a little bit of a glow. Smells really fresh, kind of citrusy. Going around my brows, trying to be careful. Right between the brow little between the cheek and gum what's that from if you're old enough to know what it's from I can't remember what it's from but it's from back in the day little between the cheek and gum I guess it's like tobacco I don't know I don't know okay so the foundation I'm going to use today is my it Cosmetics Confidence in a Foundation. And I have mine in the shade Light Sand. This is a really, really good foundation. Really full coverage. And you just need the smallest amount. Put it on my little handy dandy palette. And it's literally like a pump. Just shy of just shy of a full pump. And it's got great coverage. So I'm going to go in with my flat foundation brush by, what is this brush from? I don't remember where I got this brush from. It has a set. It comes with a set. I think it's, is this my It Cosmetics? 
it's worn off. But anyway, it's a really good foundation brush. These flat brushes are really good. I'm trying to like tap more rather than going like that because I don't want to swirl around the primer that I just put on. And you guys know that I love anything by It Cosmetics because I, I feel like it's just geared more towards mature skin. It's more beneficial for mature skin because it's got so much hydration. It's got SPF. I did already go in with my um, all my moisturizers, my serums and stuff, and my sunscreen. I use my CeraVe sunscreen. Well, moisturizer with sunscreen. Going down my neck switch my mirror I think I'm gonna go to this park over here by my house for a little bit just go for a walk it's the cutest park I found it just by mistake I was just like driving around well me and my husband were driving and it's like in our little neighborhood but it's just the cutest park it's so pretty it's got a basketball court it's got like a little area where you could play soccer um, it's got a covered like picnic area so if you want to like have a birthday party or something it doesn't have grills but um, it's a really nice park and they've got like a lot of benches and not too many people know about it because whenever I go there's really not anybody there the park I was going to, walking around this lake over here, I mean, that place gets, that park gets packed. And you just don't really, you know, when you go to the park, for me anyway, when I go for a walk, I like to just have, like, more peace, you know? Just less, like, kids running around and stuff like that, depending on my mood, I guess. But this is a really cute little park. If my husband gets off work early enough, We'll probably go together. So that was one pump. And I'm not going to go in with any more because the coverage on it is pretty, pretty good. And I'm not really doing anything spectacular, but going to the park, probably grab something to eat. <sighs> you know? Now I'm going to go in with my butter bronzer by Physicians Formula and Bronze to the Gods because the foundation, I don't know if you can see, it looks a little bit light. It could be my lighting too. And I've been using like the Jergens like glow, glow lotion for like, it gives you like a, like a, just a nice little sun tan. So I've been putting like a little bit of it on my face. Kind of got like a little patch right there. I really love this bronzer. This is my, one of my absolute favorite bronzers, and I know a lot of people love this bronzer. It smells like coconuts. Anything tropical or coconut, I love in a makeup. And the powder I'm going to use today has coconut in it. The setting powder. I don't use a lot of powder, as you guys know, with mature skin. It's really not our best friend. You can really overdo it and then you just look crepey. Crepier than you really want to look. Still no fillers. Putting it off as long as I can. I do need a little Botox because my lines are starting to come back. I'm just like giving it a lick and a promise. You know what I mean? Like I'm not doing what I would do if I was going someplace fancy. I'm literally just... And sometimes for me, the less time I spend on my makeup, sometimes it looks the best. I don't know if that is how it is for you guys, but sometimes the least amount of time that I spend on my makeup it looks really good. I'm 
just going to go in with my Cover FX, um, Cover FX um, palette. This is a highlighter, finishing powder. It's got highlights. It's got one blush. Um, and then like a brightener. Kind of looks like a highlighter. Um, and I use it kind of as a highlighter. I mix it with um, one of the other highlighters. So it's this one right here. I kind of mix that in with this highlight right here. And then I'm going to go back over my bronzer with this shade right here. So I kind of tap it in there and then tap it in the front in the brightener and then just go on my high points a little on the side and if you don't know what I just forgot to do and I never do this is forgot to put my concealer on. Oh well. I'm going to stop right there and put my concealer on because the places that I go with my concealer, I'm going to cover up with the highlight if I don't. So I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild Incognito Concealer. I love this concealer, you guys. You have to try it. It's creamy, but it's not, I don't know the consistency of it. It's just I think this is probably comparable to um, Tarte Shape Tape. I almost like it more. So I'm going to go in with a little bit here because a little bit goes a long way. And then right here. And then I'll add where I need to add, but put a little bit on the bridge of my nose. Bring those marionette lines out. Oh, too much there. And then I'm going to go in with, because a little bit goes a long way and it is really creamy, I'm going to go in with my beauty blender and just tap it away. That way it picks up the excess. And it's not too heavy, too cakey. See, it's got really good coverage. And for mature skin, like, it's really hard to find a really good, it's hard to find any good, like, you know, not hard, but it's important to find concealers and foundations that just fit well with our skin, because I have, like, dryness under my eyes, and that's part of aging, obviously, um, but there's a lot of girls that struggle with dryness in, like, dark circles, like, premature, it's genetics. And then I'm going to just tap a little bit of that and then kind of go on the side. And then just go back and forth with whatever product I have left on the sponge. See the difference from this side? So this side now looks lifted somewhat. A nice coverage I like it because it doesn't really crease throughout the day like a lot of them do and I do have fine lines so it is gonna settle um, I lightly set it though I don't like I said I don't like to use a lot of powder but with um, really with any concealer I lightly set it just to give me some more time you know wear time without creasing See how pretty that coverage is? And you have a lot of play time. So like, you know, if you get to doing something else and you have it sitting on your face for a while, it doesn't dry up. So I just, I really, really like this concealer. It's like my top five. I'm, I like it just as much as I like the Pat McGrath, and if you've tried the Pat McGrath, then you'll know what I'm talking about. And then I'm going to just take that, what's left on the Beauty Blender, and tap my brows. Take away that in-your-face darkness right here. See that? Isn't that pretty coverage? 
Now I'm going to go back in with my highlighter because I just covered it up with the concealer. It's okay, you know? It's not like the end of the world and that's the fun thing about makeup is it washes off, it wipes off, you could start over. There's no rules in makeup. What is this darkness right here? You know what? It's almost like a bruise. I'm gonna have to put a little bit more concealer right there. I don't know what I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a shadow. It's actually like a little bruise. Who knows? I beat myself up at night when I sleep. I have the weirdest dreams. And I remember my dreams like in detail. I'm a very, very vivid dreamer. And I hate it because I don't really get rest. I feel like, like every night I pray, you know, well, every night I pray anyway, but I'm like, because my dreams are so intense that I feel like I get stuck in dreamland. My nose itches, I'm not picking it. Um, I feel like I get stuck in dreamland and it's really scary for me, especially when the dreams are disturbing scary okay I'm just gonna use actually I'm gonna go in with this wet n wild um, blush it's got a shimmer to it I don't know if you could see it it's so pretty um, this is in the shade all right I'm gonna do it as I knock 10 things over, I'm gonna do it. Nudist Society. Nudist Society, that's a cool name for a blush. It's really subtle though, so if you're looking for something really like intense, it's not this, but it's pretty because it has a shimmer to it. Um, and it just gives your face just like a sun kiss. See, it just gives it like a sun-kissed look. And then just blend it over that highlight and a little bit on the contour or the bronzer. I didn't really contour too much. And then I just take a little bit up on top because isn't that where the sun hits? And then you get like a nice, nice shimmer. I love this blush. It's one of my favorite blushes. Um, I'm going to go in really quickly with this finishing powder. It's got a lot of shimmer too. I'm putting a lot of shimmer on my face. I don't know. It fell off. I have to glue that. And just lightly go over everything. There's a difference between finishing powder and setting powder. Google it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is set my under eye. And I'm going to work out where it settled. And it really didn't settle too much, like I said. I'm going to go in with my Makeup Revolution. It's actually I Love Revolution. That's what it says right here. And it's the Coconut Baking Powder. Um, it's translucent. It's got little coconuts all over it. And this is the first time using it. It's got a, like a nice little powder puff. It's bougie. Bougie on a budget. And it smells like coconuts. It's just real subtle, but it smells like coconuts. The only thing I don't really like is how it's got the little holes. So you have to like, I don't know. I guess it's okay to do it this way and then I'm going to I'm, I'm gonna use the powder puff but I'm gonna use that somewhere else on my face so I'm just gonna go in with the beauty blender and just kind of lightly coat it and just gently press it 
I told you guys once before that um, generally I like to start with my setting powder under my eyes over here because I don't want the majority of the product to sit right here and be cakey so that way it's over here you can blend it you can't really see it and then work your way towards the inner corner and then I just felt like on the sides of my nose down the side of my nose Ooh, I like this powder it's finely milled that's the word I was looking for earlier it's finely milled whoops let's go over here Yeah, I really like this powder. On the sides of my nose. I don't want my face to be too dry looking, so I'm gonna go in with this powder puff and just wipe off what's actually on there you can see this it's a powder and I'm going to just gently put it right here isn't that pretty yes I do love this product um, I think I'm gonna set my face before I do my lips just because I want to use man I got so I got this bronzer and this blush that I wanted to, to try, and I'll do this in another video, but this is, um, it's actually a highlighter, but it's Rose Fizz Glow, and it's also by Makeup Revolution. It's the little miniature one, so I wanted to try that, and then I also wanted to try this um, coffee. Um, I'm going to read it with my glasses, but it's really pretty. It's got like the... The, it's coffee bronzer but it's got like the um, a little bit of highlight mixed with it and I wanted to use that today but I didn't I'll do that in another video but I did want to use one of these setting sprays um, there's tasty peach and pink grapefruit this is brightening and this is mattifying so we don't want to mattify because we have a lot of powder on our face today so I am going to brighten up my face with this now my favorite, absolute favorite setting spray of all time now is the Professional Super Setter. This is, the mist on this is so, so fine and it smells really good. A lot of people don't like scents, but these are scents that go away and it's subtle. So um, this is a really, really good um, setting powder. It's actually, I mean, setting spray, it's my favorite one of all time. You have to try it. So. I'm going to, it's got like a little, little shaker ball or something in there. And I don't want to spray it on my face and then have it like spritz out. So I like to just do like a squirt. Mmm. What does that smell like? Kind of smells like sweet tarts. This is going to be a long video long ass video but I love long videos I like watching long videos so there's the face I'm going to put a lip I got to pick a lip um, what lip am I gonna do I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Anastasia Beverly Hills um, shimmer lip gloss I'm just gonna put a gloss on today because I think it's just fitting for the subtle soft look that I have going on and I have this in the shade Bubbly. I love these lip glosses that came in a little set. Um, they're creamy and they remind me of the, the MAC lip glosses if you've tried those. Um, it's got the little, the little thin um, applicator. I need to do my lips again. They're so small. Smells like vanilla. I love scents, as you can tell. It's like thick, but not sticky. And I tried the other one, another one. I don't remember the shade, but uh, it lasts for a while. 
Like as long as you're not eating and drinking a bunch of stuff, even then you still have some left, left on your lips. But it's pretty subtle. So I have a pretty subtle look going on, I think. But I think it looks healthy, glowy, dewy. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today and enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of all over the place per usual, but um, you know, I wanted to play with makeup and try out some of these new products. Um, I think there are still few, few things, a good handful of things that I haven't used and haven't tried, but future videos. Um, so anyway, thank you guys so much for hanging out. Give this video a like if you liked it and leave me some video ideas down below. Leave me your comments, questions, or suggestions, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.